in the vastness of space, somewhere, there is a star that has used up all its fuel and now starts to cool down. As it becomes colder, the pressure on the inside drops and it collapses within just a couple of seconds. This collapse creates massive shock waves that cause the outer part of the star to explode in a violent and yet beautiful way. We call that a supernova. This event releases a huge amount of energy, which for a brief moment outshines entire galaxies. What if, in an alternate universe, human life ended in a supernova as well? How much energy would we even release and how far would the impact travel? Would this pose a threat to humanity or would it be more of a firework kind of situation and just be nice to look at? That's what we're going to find out now. Imagine Joe, he has lived a long and happy life. Now he's 90 years old, lying in a hospital bed and taking his last breaths. Every breath is a little weaker than the one before and he knows his time is up. So he closes his eyes and prepares for the human supernova that is to come. His body collapses and then, boom! To figure out how far the impact would travel, we need to know how much energy his body has. Don't worry, it's not gonna be complicated. Luckily, there is a famous equation for that. E stands for energy, which we want to calculate. M is the mass. Let's say he weighed 80 kilograms. And C is the speed of light. The result is this much joules. I will not even try to say this number out loud. To make it more readable, let's change it to 7.2 times 10 to the power of 18. For comparison, little boy, the bomb dropped in Hiroshima during the Second World War, released an energy of about 6.3 times 10 to the power of 13 joules. The difference here is equivalent to 100,000. Which means you'd need 100,000 of these bombs to release roughly the same amount of energy that is contained in a human body. Who would have thought that a few bones with a little meat on them would have this much energy? So does that mean it's over for humanity after the first person dies? Let's find out! Little Boy's radius was about 1.3 kilometers. The Washington Post shared photos where you can see how far the impact would reach in different cities. Here's how it would look in Manhattan. Almost all of Lower Manhattan would be gone. Now imagine this a hundred thousand times. Doesn't look all that good for humanity, to be honest. When we account for the fact that on average every second two people die, humanity would probably be annihilated within the first hour. I think there is no need to mention radioactiveness or any of that stuff at this point because it would be completely irrelevant. Makes me glad that we don't end in a supernova. Don't forget to transfer some energy by giving a like and if you want to see more, you might enjoy one of these videos.